Hey everyone, Rick at Word Search. In this video, I want to talk to you about one of the most commonly used features inside of Word Search, the concordance search. The concordance search is where you search for a word or multiple words in your books, Bibles, and documents. The full concordance search can be accessed from the main icon toolbar. It can also be accessed from the search drop down menu or with the keyboard shortcut of Control F. There is also a quick access concordance search whenever you right click on a word. The concordance search can be divided into three sections. The search for section where you tell WordSearch what you're looking for, the search in section where you tell WordSearch where you want to search, and the search results screen. The search for section is the top half of the concordance search pop-up, and its main feature is an empty box to type in what you wish to search for. On the right hand side of the entry box, there is a drop down arrow which will show you your previous searches. To aid you in using the entry box, there are three buttons beneath it. The first button is an English spelling helper. Open the spelling helper and type in at least two letters and it will give you all of the candidate words that match. Click on the word that you wish to search for and click insert. This works great for those difficult Bible names. The spelling helper is based off of what books you have selected. So picking your books first will give you an accurate list of words available for you to search for. As well, we have our Hebrew and Greek alternative keyboards to help you type in the original language for original language searches. Now in the search for section, we have provided multiple qualifiers to aid you in searching. Three qualifiers will give you less search results, while four will give you more search results. Let's start with the qualifiers that will give you less search results. The first can be accessed by a button push or by typing it in in all caps. It is the AND button. The AND button allows you to constrict your search results by looking for multiple words in a verse or section instead of just one. The second qualifier that we can use to give us less search results is the AND NOT button. Instead of telling WordSearch what other words you want to find as with the AND button, with the AND NOT button, it allows you to weed out the results that you don't want to see. The third qualifier that gives us less search results is phrase searching. To do phrase searching, simply surround the phrase you wish to search for in quotes. Phrase searching is the most constricting search you can do. As well, phrase searching does not work in translations with footnotes, such as the ESV, Holman Christian Standard, and the NASB. In those translations with footnotes, I recommend using the AND button instead. There are also four qualifiers that will expand your search results. The most commonly used one is the OR button. The OR button allows you to search for multiple words, giving you all the results in one search results screen. The next two qualifiers are our smart search options. Smart search options can be turned on by clicking the appropriate button. The first smart search option is plurals. When turned on, plurals will automatically search for the plural of any singular word you type in. So if you type in disciple, it will automatically search for disciples. If you type in ox, it will automatically search for oxen. The second smart search option is verb forms. When turned on, verb forms will automatically search for all tenses of your present tense verb. So if you type in rise, it will also search for rises, rising, and risen. The final qualifier that you can use to expand your search results will only work while searching in your Bible translations. It is the near button. The near button will find words near each other in scripture. How near they need to be to each other is set down in the bottom of the search pop-up window. You can choose one to nine verses. Word search will then find the words you type in near each other in scripture. This is great for finding people near people, people near places, or even finding themes in scripture. The second half of our concordance search pop-up is the search in section. Because choosing your books can be a time-consuming process, we have some quick choice options available to you. You can choose to use your default Bible. You can choose to use all the open books on your desktop. Or you can choose to use one of your collections. To learn more about collections, please check out the collections video in our tutorial section. You can also choose the books and documents you want to search from your library menu. There is a library filter to help you find books quickly by author and title. Below the library section is the Bible search options. You can choose a scripture filter from the list of major Bible divisions or you can type in your own filter. You can also include your Bible section headings in your search.
Once you have run your search, you will be at the search results screen. At the top of the search results screen, it will list your search and how many times it was found. Your search results, depending on what you search, will always be divided into three categories. Books of the Bible, Apocryphal books, and Library books. These categories can be organized by book name or by hit count. When you want to navigate quickly through a large set of search results, you can use the Jump To button, which will allow you to jump right to a specific book in your search results. The Search Results Tool button starts out with a new search button, which will allow you to make a new search in the program. You can also narrow down your search results with the AND qualifier by using the Narrow Results button. The plus button will open up all sections while the minus sign will close them all. Now each search result will have a box that can be checked or unchecked. You can work with these globally by using the checks button. Here you can select all, clear all, or invert check marks. You can also control them manually by clicking on each box. Once you have your results checked, you can then copy the checked items which will allow you to paste them wherever you would like. Print your selected items or finally, you can export the verses to a verse list. If you would like to learn more about concordance searching, please check out our Basics 3 class and our free live training classes. You can view them by clicking on the Live Training button from the home screen or by going to training at wordsearchbible.com. Thanks so much for watching and have a blessed day.